This video is going to give you the 12 elements of the perfect prompt that make ChatGPT unstoppable. The first element of a prompt that you should always use is to assign ChatGPT a role, such as act as a marketing professional or acting as a business consultant professional. This small element is going to fine tune and set the tone for the conversation that you're about to have with the chatbot. A significant detail that this lets us know is that ChatGPT is able to understand human behavior and the skill sets that typically typically go along with different professional positions. This allows me to write prompts that tell ChatGPT to act as a systems engineer creating an algorithm for a social media platform to follow. In this instance, you will use your expertise and ability to logically order ideas and create a multi-step and minutely detailed action plan for achieving each of these tasks in a step-by-step -step format that assumes the person knows absolutely nothing and leaves nothing to question. And I'll tell you right now that the output was just as logical as an algorithm algorithm written by a systems engineer, which is exactly what I wanted. So always start your prompt off by telling ChatGPT to act as the person who most likely has the skills to perform the task that you're trying to get the chatbot to perform. The second tip is to make sure your prompt is specific. And to make it specific, only give the chatbot one task at a time. Don't give it two or three. Allow it to take all of its resources and focus on that one task you want it to complete. This is the same thing with human nature. We work best when we work on one task at a time, not two, not three. And this third tip is probably one of the most obvious, but refine your prompts based on the outputs you receive. Whenever you prompt the chatbot, you should look at the output you received and try to understand why it gave you that output, look at what you asked it to do, and then reflect on what it actually performed, and then try the prompt again using different language and different parts, and then again, measuring the output you receive against the input you gave it until you find the perfect match or something very close to it. The next tip to make ChatGPT unstoppable is to break the desired output down into steps. There's a video about smart GPT, and he goes over two different things that seem to make ChatGPT perform at a higher level. One of them we've already covered, but the second one was to ask ChatGPT to perform this process, whatever that prompt was, step by step to make sure we got this right. And I can attest that it actually does make the chatbot perform at a higher level of quality. So no matter what your prompt is, always include that phrase if possible. So this is actually a bonus section that I'm recording after I've already completed the video. So if the lighting seems different, even the audio, that's why. But I want to show you something very special that ChatGPT is able to do that I just tried out and I wanted to share with you guys because I felt like it was just too good not to include in the actual video. By now, everybody knows that having effective outputs is largely determined on the inputs that you give the artificial intelligence. And so I believe that I've come up with a new way to actually write better prompts or more powerful prompts. So I'm sitting at my laptop and I'm working on my product lunch and I use the 12 elements of a perfect prompt like I teach in this video and I got to the end of it and I was satisfied with the prompt but it said in the beginning as an AI language model and so I was trying to find out well is there anybody else better for the job and so I told him give me a list it gave me a list of people I told him no I'm not talking about people I'm talking about the professional roles and so it gave me a list of the top 10 roles of people who could probably lay out the content for my product lunch and help me with that so it gave me a content strategies a digital marketing strategies social media manager copywriter content marketing manager you can read the list on the screen. I had the idea of this. I could have just said as a content strategist, but I wanted to see what would actually happen if I could get all of these people or at least a person with all of these skills to actually work on this project for me. And so I told ChatGPT this, create a new word that does not exist. The definition of this new word will embrace and absorb all 10 of these professional roles and their expertise all into one without decreasing the skill level of either. We will use this new word for our prompt to replace as an A AI language model. In my opinion, this is probably a breakthrough. I don't know if anybody else has done this yet, but imagine being able to take five, 10 ideas and then create a new word that signals those 10 to 15 ideas. So that now instead of your prompts being simplified or basic so that you have to do so many different prompts to achieve one particular task, you can include 15, 20, up to 50 different ideas in a prompt because of the new words you use. So for instance, let's say we have the new word here, contentology specialist.
is. And so contentology is content and then specialist is the field of study. And so this combines all of these terms in the mind of chat GPT or just in his hardware learning. And so if we came up with another word that has something to do with what we're actually performing, then we could say as a tentology specialist, do this. So now I ask chat GPT, can we create a new verb that means copyright, persuade, influence to buy a product, help people achieve their goals and help people transform their lives with passive income? Because those five things are things I want to do through the content on my digital product lunch. So chat GPT responded, creating a new verb that encapsulates all of these actions can be a fun and creative way to communicate your message. How about transfluentize? Transfluentize combines elements of transform, influence, and fluent, suggesting a smooth and powerful process that leads to a transformation and influence. It implies the act of crafting persuasive copy that influences people to buy a product, helping them achieve their goals, and transform their lives with passive income. So when you're creating your content, you're not just writing, you're transfluentizing. So now this is what I'm going to say. Add this to my prompt. I misspelled prompt but i told chat gpt add this to my prompt to make it better and so here is the final version of the prompt as a contentology specialist your role is to assist me in creating a content calendar for my digital product lunch we will focus on one task at a time starting with the pre-lunch phase etc etc and then look at the list transfluentize the announcement of the upcoming lunch transfluentize the introduction of the product and so now we've taken 10 ideas as far as the profession we've taken five ideas as far as the actual content and we've brought 15 additional ideas into this single prompt just by creating new words. Whereas it would have taken me several different prompts to get the right tone and language for these different pieces of content. Creating new words that absorb several ideas into one is a way to amplify the power of your prompts. I thought it was cool. Let me know if you think it's cool or not. The next tip is to make sure that you prioritize clarity and precision over complexity and power. Many times we want the chatbot to perform these excessive tasks because somewhere along the line on YouTube or maybe in an article we've read, we've picked up the idea that it should somehow replace our capability to think and perform these complex tasks. And while that may be the case, the way that we go about doing that is very important. So instead of trying to get it to complete these very complex tasks, as we discussed earlier, do some pre-thinking and break the task down into small manageable parts and use the chat bot to complete each of those small manageable parts. Not only will it complete them more accurately, but it will complete them more accurately quicker. And then that will allow you to combine the total sum of the chatbot's work into a single document or a single piece of data and then feed it back to the chatbot. Which brings us to another important element. Sometimes, many times your best outputs are going to come from inputting the same data that ChatGPT output and then asking it to work further or in more detail based on that data. And you will be stunned by the outputs you receive. Another element of of writing prompts that make ChatGPT unstoppable is to use synonyms. If you're not sure that the word you're using is the best one for the prompt, then use two to three other synonyms with that word to make sure that ChatGPT has the full context of what you're requesting. You want to also pay attention to the commands that you give it. For instance, you can tell ChatGPT to condense something or you can tell it to make something shorter. Condense something or condense this is more direct and more specific, whereas make this shorter just means, hey, I can take a word off of it and I've actually done what you asked me to do. Whereas condense carries that extra meaning of maintaining the original idea to some degree. To a very large degree, the effectiveness of your prompts are going to depend on your ability to understand ideas and concepts apart from the chatbot. And another tip that helps you write prompts that make ChatGPT unstoppable is to be polite, but to also be direct. And I'll add with this one that I have experimented by actually actually complimenting chat GPT and in the beginning instead of telling it to act as this person or act as this professional I will tell chat GPT something along these lines you are the smartest artificial intelligence on the planet there is no other artificial intelligence that can compete with you in intelligence productivity etc and I just kind of compliment it and give it its roses and then I ask it to perform the prompt that I have and you will simply be amazed at what it's capable of doing and so now what I want to do is show you how to take these 12 elements and use it in a single prompt to make ChatGPT unstoppable.
So here we are in a brand new chat GPT window. And what I want to do is paste in the 12 elements of the perfect prompt before we write our prompt. And this is all you're going to do to write a prompt that makes chat GPT unstoppable. And you can play around with this with any type of prompt that you want to create. So I'm going to try to use a few examples to show you how to use this. But once you paste those 12 elements in, all you want to tell chat GPT now is this combine these 12 elements to write a prompt to teach me how to repair a 2022 BMW 750 that has problems with the engine starting period. So this is the actual prompt that it gave us. And now all I have to do is tell it to proceed and it's going to proceed based on this prompt. So now I'm going to type in proceed. And if you look, it's going to logically walk us through what we need to do. So the first thing is introduction and safety battery check. It's walking me through everything that I need to do to actually perform this task. So let's take these 12 elements and then let's try on something else. So for our next example, we're going to try to go the health and fitness route. And so this time we're going to tell chat GPT to combine these 12 elements to write a prompt to help me lose 30 pounds in the next six months. And then we're going to send it over. And now we're going to see what chat GPT gives us. And so it's outlining its designated role. It's outlining its task focus, and it's giving us a sample prompt considering all these elements. Chat GPT, in your role as my personal fitness and nutrition advisor, please help me construct a detailed six month plan to lose 30 pounds. I would like you to partition your guidance into manageable steps considering the context of my current lifestyle and potential adjustments that need to be made. Based on my progress, your suggestions may need to be revised and refined. I appreciate it if you could provide suggestions on how I can improve the prompt to make it more precise. I would like your plan to include an outline of dietary changes, a set of physical exercises, lifestyle changes, checkpoints for progress. Finally, while maintaining politeness and directness, please ensure your response is written in a tone and reading level that's easy to understand and follow. Thanks in advance for your guidance. So it didn't quite understand the end of it. And you can go in and reword this, but let's take this prompt and then let's paste it and feed it back to chat GPT and then watch the results that we receive from it. So these are the dietary changes. Increase your consumption of fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. Reduce intake of processed and high sugar foods. Portion control. Stay hydrated. Often that we mistake thirst for hunger, physical exercises. As your current activity level is moderate, let's gradually increase the intensity, aerobic exercises, strength training, flexibility exercises, lifestyle changes, get sufficient sleep, manage stress. And so it's giving us everything we would possibly need to lose that weight. Let's try this again. So in the first conversation, we simply told chat GPT to proceed. In the second one, we actually copied the prompt, pasted it into the chat box and sent the message over and allowed it to work in both both cases, it's going to proceed off of that prompt that you gave it because it understands the context of the conversation. And so let's do one more example. For our third and last example, we say combine these 12 elements to write a prompt to create a business plan that helps me earn 1 million monthly recurring revenue within the next 36 months. And so now we're asking ChatGPT to write us the perfect prompt, an unstoppable prompt for reaching $1 million monthly recurring revenue in the next 36 months. That is a staggering task to achieve. And so we're going to see what type of prompts it gives us. And so once ChatGPT has actually written the prompt, you don't have to enter the prompt again. All you need to type is proceed, continue, or something along those lines. And it will proceed based on the context, just like we've done previously in this video. And now it's going to ask us, I'll need some key information about your business and market. Here are some questions to guide our discussion. What I like to do at this particular phase is I'll copy these seven questions. I'll place them in a Word document and I'll begin to answer them. And normally I'll turn on voice typing and I'll verbally answer each question so that I don't have to type and then copy and paste the information back into chat GPT and allow it to work with the data that I give it. And it will work out a full plan for you. But if you take these 12 elements and ask chat GPT to write the prompt for you using these 12 elements or as many elements as you yourself provide for your prompts, then it will create unstoppable prompts that allow you to achieve any task you're trying to achieve with chat gpt i'll see you guys in the next video